Hello, in this video we are going to continue with the game engine setup. We're going to be implementing an asset manager in this video which will allow us to well load assets such as textures and fonts that we can easily reuse later within our game. And the beauty of it is once we've loaded a texture once like a background for example if we need to use it on let's say five different states we can easily just use it. We don't have to load it up five different times and take up more memory. We can just easily reuse assets. Imagine if you had a game screen, you had a hundred different enemies on there, but they all had the same texture. Then you could just use this asset manager and just load the image once, but use it multiple times. So to create this, you want to create a new file. Just do it the normal way that you would in your editor or IDE. You want a C++ file. I'm going to call it Asset Manager. You also want a header file file as well. In the header file, get rid of all of the contents if your text editor or IDE has created any. First of all, you want to do hash pragma once, then hash include map, and we'll be using a map to store all the textures and fonts that we've loaded. Then we do a hash include sfml graphics.hpp so we're finally including the sfml side now we're going to do namespace sonar as we have done before or whatever you're using as the namespace for the rest of your game engine now the class which is asset manager we're going to have some public methods First one is going to be asset manager and this is just going to be the constructor. It's going to be empty so we don't need to put it in the CPP. And we need a deconstruct destructor which again is also going to be empty. Now we need a void load texture method which will take two parameters. First is going to be a string and this will be the actual name that you're assigning to the texture for later use and then you will specify another string and this is the actual file itself including the path and we want to do a sf texture ampersand get texture so this method will allow us to get a particular texture this takes one parameter which is std string name so it takes the name of the texture that we set using this method and it will return a reference to that texture so now we're going to do something very similar for loading fonts as well void load font you still want a name and a file name that's fine but instead of returning a reference to the texture, I'm going to return a reference to the font. And this is going to be called get font. And the string name is fine. So now what we need is some private variables. And the private variables, I think you probably guessed what they're going to be. They are going to be the maps that are storing our textures and fonts. So std map and std string so it's going to have two data types in here one's going to be a string which is going to be the name of our particular texture then we're going to have the texture itself and this is going to be called underscore textures we're going to do something very similar for the font as well so we're going to have a font map and this is going to be called fonts save that and now you want to go to the cpp file to implement our asset manager so let's just get rid of luckily let's just get rid of the comments we want to do hash include do here hash include sfml for slash graphics actually we don't need that because we've included it in the header form so yeah that's fine we don't need to include it again that is fantastic and now we're going to do a namespace remember just make sure you're using the same namespace as the rest of the game engine and now we're going to implement the void load 
texture method std string name and the file name and first of all we want to do sf texture so this is going to be a local texture instance and we're going to do if text dot load from file so if it successfully loads this particular file that we have passed in then we can add it to the map of textures that we already have so just do this textures we're going to store it in name equals text so that's it for loading a texture and there's a capital n so it was camel case now we're going to implement the method for returning a texture so sf texture ampersand asset manager get texture std string name return this underscore textures dot at and this is going to return a particular texture at this particular index which is referenced by the name that we set right here now we need to do the same but for fonts so we can actually just duplicate this duplicate that change this to load font change this to font change this to font and we're doing font dot load from file instead of underscore textures we're doing fonts and we're storing the font and now we just need to implement the get font method so get font and we need to get the font from the fonts map not the textures map so if we were to run this shouldn't get any areas errors Build successful, you might be thinking nothing run at the moment. Yeah, at the moment nothing is going to run. So we're still setting up the game engine. So that's it for the asset manager. It's a great way of loading assets in, storing them for later use. Very extendable. You could add methods later on for loading and getting audio. Recommend that you, that you do that. That's a great way of learning. That is the best way of learning by doing it yourself and just experimenting and tinkering with the code. And there's several other assets as the game engine grows, as the, your requirements grow for the sort of game you're creating. You could load different models in, for example, all of that good stuff. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. All the links that you need will be available with this video, including a link to the code on GitHub. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.